I have had this machine for about a year and a half now, almost nearly 20 months and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's nearly perfect honestly like it's everything i've wanted and more so in today's video i will be taking you guys with me throughout my day on how i use this machine how i use this beautiful macbook pro 14 with the m1 pro chip in my ecosystem and in my workflow i'll be sharing my thoughts on it my reviews my pros and cons about it and hopefully this will help you out if you are interested in getting apple's newer macbooks where they make their own chip because they're like peace out intel we got this we're gonna make our own and absolutely killed it but yeah first things first let's go eat because i am hungry first and foremost what i love about this macbook is the build design quality and the materials that went into making this laptop although they ditched the curved type of edges i honestly love how boxy it feels it really does feel premium to me because when i had the macbook air m1 chip it didn't feel as premium as the macbook pro does also with the added weight it just feels more secure but it's not too heavy where it hurts my shoulders if i'm carrying it in a bag for too long i generally love the thin bezels the macbook detailing at the very bottom the layout of the keys and the larger touchpad everything about the design is nearly perfect Also, as you can tell, I have no dents or scratches on this. I try to baby it still to this day, but there are times where I accidentally bump it or I actually dropped it on like carpet and I just, my heart broke, but overall it's still in basically perfect condition. Although I love the design, the build, the attention to detail to this. If I were to be nitpicky, I would love it to have either touch capabilities or foldable capabilities. Because when I watch laptop videos of other brands, I just love that they explore functionalities and form factors. So this is just an overall nitpick of mine because when I'm cooking, a lot of times I'm following so much recipes and I always get so scared to touch the keys because my hands are dirty from cooking or wet. And so if it were be able to fold and have touch like an iPad, that would be sick because I honestly don't personally own an iPad. I just don't think I use it that often to buy one. All right, so we are about to go to a cafe to grab coffee, do some journal and work over there. I haven't had coffee yet, but first we need to pack our laptop into our Tom Talk laptop bag who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. Tom Talk is a brand that makes fashion products to protect your tech from your iPad, laptop, even gaming consoles like the Switch. Their products are high quality, functional, protective, and custom made for the perfect fit. So the Her H21 laptop is made for my 14 inch MacBook Pro, but of course they come in other sizes and other colors to choose from. But this bag has four compartments, guys. I'm gonna be able to bring everything I need in this. The front zip pocket, when you open up, there's some pockets in there for your phone, accessories or other items but then there's a secret little magnetic pocket behind it where you can put your keyboard or other items when you open the main compartment for your laptop it's made out of a very soft material to protect your laptop which is so important because my laptop is a big investment and I want to protect it at all costs not to mention the corner armor technology at the bottom corners for high resilient edges safeguarding your laptop which is honestly super important if you find yourself rushing and running around and you forget to baby your laptop and hit any you know doors or walls the corner armor technology is going to protect your laptop and i feel safe you know knowing that because my laptop again is a big investment so having it be protected by this bag is amazing not to mention there's more pockets guys y'all this is gonna be so cool so a lot of times when i see laptop bags they only have pockets at the front but tom talk utilized the back and created another pocket for your maybe more important items like your phone wallet or keys and so it's a nice little magnetic pocket for easy access but the cool thing is there's a zipper down here and when you open it up you can slide it through a suitcase so it's gonna be 
really convenient when you're bringing this around for traveling. Not to mention how the handles are a really good quality. They're soft to the touch, so that way if they're on your bare skin, it's not gonna hurt or feel sticky, but comfortable enough to carry with you around. And it comes with a long strap with a buckle over here to adjust this height. But if you don't want the long strap, you can easily take it off and carry it with the handles. So thank you Tom Talk for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's go to the cafe. So I'm not gonna lie, I hardly ever use my camera for my MacBook for FaceTime or videos, but I am happy that they upgraded from 720 pixels to 1080. It was about time, so if I do use it, it is pretty good, decent quality. I feel like the saturation could be better and more crisp, but I'm glad it's at 1080 pixels. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the um, let me know your thoughts on the quality, but also the audio. Can you hear my voice pretty well or the background music? Because I am at a coffee shop right now, but overall, it's decent works does the job. So Pilot Cafe recently opened in my city. It first opened a location in Toronto but I guess they were so popular that they expanded and I'm really happy that they opened in Waterloo because I have to say it's my favorite cafe in Waterloo. They make their own beans in Toronto so it's really high quality. I'm eating their pistachio loaf which is actually pretty good and while I'm here I'm just journaling. Usually when I journal I like to have some aesthetic um, um, wallpapers to look at casually and play some lo-fi music in the background so while I'm here I'm just doing some work scripting a video for a future collab but honestly I love taking my laptop anywhere it's just big enough to fit on any coffee table or even airplane tables because I've flown with this laptop on the airplane and it fits on the tiny table but it's still big enough for me to do my work, see all the little icons and tabs in Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and all of that stuff. So it's honestly the perfect size to go with me on the go. And not to mention all the ports that Apple finally has brought back. All right, guys, we are at Waterloo Park. It is so nice out today, so I wanna do some work outside. But before, they never did any of this, it was honestly not looking as good as it is today they put a sidewalk some rocks some sand and some new playgrounds for the kids and i really like how it's a long walkway it loops around and there's a lot of benches for you to do work on so i thought i would do some work outside So this laptop is honestly so versatile when it comes to the liquid retina xdr display probably one of my favorite displays i've seen on a laptop in the past i've had the macbook air and also a lenovo thinkpad laptop and they don't compare to the macbook pro retina xdr display it has a billion colors guys that is wild and the colors really pop out if you like your layout to be black like i do for my adobe for youtube so the colors truly pop out you don't really struggle especially for small icons in the Adobe Photoshop or any of your websites or apps you use you'll be able to see all the color perfectly and not only that because it has you know true tone technology 120 hertz refresh rate promotion it's really smooth and buttery when you're scrolling through websites or web browsers or whatever you're doing home now i am just eating some eggs and guac i know i said i cook i swear i do but when i'm filming i honestly have no time to cook so i just put up together whatever i have in the fridge and this is all i have so i'm gonna just watch some videos and then do some work
Another reason why I absolutely love my MacBook is the battery life. So looking at my battery, it's about 9 p.m. and it's at 5%. It's probably gonna die out of battery in the next couple of minutes. Looking at my battery health, I got a solid six hours of screen time all day. And when I was looking at my previous video, it looked like I got about 60% of battery within four hours. I didn't use it until the very end of the battery, but if I do my math correct, I could get about seven hours a battery when I first got the MacBook. So comparing it to a year and a half later with normal battery health, I got solid six hours of screen time, which is pretty good. It seems like my MacBook is holding up pretty well when it comes to the battery health. But with the battery health being normal, it doesn't mean the performance has deteriorated. Honestly, the performance is still the same as if I first bought it. Whenever I have multiple programs in the background like Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, and also Chrome in the background running with a bunch of music, a bunch of websites, Notion, all that stuff, it's all running so smoothly. I don't have any issues of it crashing, of it lagging, or causing any issues, and that goes to show how powerful the M1 Pro chip really is. I bought the base model and it's still running like an absolute beast. It serves all of my functions and all of my needs seamlessly. It honestly added to my workflow and improved it. I get things done faster, quicker, more efficient, and I enjoy working because there isn't that much hiccups when I'm working on this MacBook and connected to my monitor, which does drain the battery a little bit more. Now, with the added fans to this MacBook, it really does not overheat. Sometimes it gets a little warm, but that's mostly it. The fan never goes crazy, because with my work ThinkPad Lenovo laptop that I had last year, whenever I ran it for more than three to four hours and had Adobe Premiere Pro or Photoshop in the background for a long period of time, it started to overheat, it would lag, freeze, and also the fan would go crazy. And during those moments, I would always have to shut everything down and restart the laptop. That was also using the Intel 10 chip, I believe. It was the latest at the time because it was a brand new laptop. But working with my MacBook Pro M1 Pro chip, absolutely amazing, beats it out of the water. So honestly, Apple has done the chip game really well. This is why a lot of their ads are geared towards creators, designers, programmers because they're showing us that their chip can handle really heavy duty apps and multiple apps at the same time which is really crucial as a creator designer programmer or, or anyone who uses multiple programs and applications at once i also ran a geekbench 6 test on my macbook pro and here are the scores so on the single core score it's 2341 and on a multi-core score it's 9113 now i also compared it to the M2 MacBook Pro and also the alternative to the MacBook Pro 14, the Razer Blade laptop. And here are the results for you guys to see. Overall, the MacBook Pro does perform better than the Razer Blade 14, but the MacBook Pro in 2023 with the M2 chip is slightly beating the MacBook Pro 14 by a little bit. But overall, my MacBook really is my baby. I cannot live without it. It's held up really well. So I'm excited to see how it's gonna hold up over the years. I don't really plan on upgrading anytime soon. The only thing I wanna think about buying is maybe like a Mac mini. So that way if I'm staying at home, I can use that and only use my laptop on the go. But for now, I'm happy with this being my main driver. I love it. She's my baby. She's been through it and held up really well. So I'm happy and proud to say that I bought it as an investment and it's been holding up really well and worth the money. Definitely worth the money. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I will be happy to answer them. I've made a few other MacBook videos when I first purchased it, if you want to know more. I did a battery drain test with absolutely no editing, so the results are there. I don't really remember on the top of my head, but they were really good results. Absolutely loved it. Again, thank you TomTalk for sponsoring a portion of my video. If y'all are interested at all, definitely check out the link. I'll put it in my description or comment section if you are interested. However, that is it for me and I'll see y'all in the next one.